When a Civil 3D project is stored on a local server, the design content is created and managed almost entirely using Civil 3D. When a Civil 3D project is stored in BIM 360, virtually nothing changes. Any extra tasks required to host a project in the cloud are automatic and, for the most part, transparent to users. In this session, we'll learn how to create drawings within a Civil 3D project. On my screen is a drawing that represents the beginnings of my roadway improvement project. This drawing was created from a template and, so far, has not been saved. Let's save the drawing to the Route 25 Improvements Cloud project. I'll do that by clicking Save, and then I'll navigate to BIM 360. I'll select my account, I'll select the project, I'll open the Project Files folder, and I'll save this inside the Drawings folder. I'll call the drawing Prop Roadway, and I'll click Save. As soon as I clicked Save, this drawing was saved locally and then immediately synced to BIM 360. Notice the prospector shows us that this drawing is stored in the cloud. The pencil icon also indicates that I have this drawing open for edit. Whenever a drawing is open for edit, it's automatically locked to prevent other project members from editing the file at the same time. If you'll indulge me for just a second, we'll take a quick field trip to BIM 360 and review the lock. I'll launch my web browser and I'll log into BIM 360 Docs. I will then select the Drawings folder inside my Route 25 Improvements project, and right here we can see the icon showing us that this file is locked. If I hover over the icon, it will tell me who currently owns the file. It's important to note that this file will remain locked until such time as the owner closes the drawing, very similar to how things work on a local server. Let's demonstrate that. I'm going to drag my web browser over, and then I'll squeeze down Civil 3D so we can see both applications at the same time. I will then click to close the proposed roadway drawing, and after giving the system a couple seconds to sync, I'll come back to my web browser and press F5 to refresh, and you can see the lock has been removed. This file is now available for other stakeholders to edit. Please note that the time it takes to sync files is directly related to the speed of your internet connection and the size of the files you're working with. Let's close the web browser, and I'll drag Civil 3D back to full screen. At this point, you may be wondering if it's possible to view the status of the syncing process. The answer to that question is yes, you can. We can do that using the desktop connector. Down in the tool tray, I'm going to right-click on the desktop connector icon, and I'll select Pending Actions. The Pending Actions dialog box can be used to view the status of files being synced with BIM 360. If you have room on your screen, it's not a bad idea to keep this dialog box open to provide some visual insight into the efficiency of files moving back and forth with the cloud. Since I'm working with a small screen, I'm going to leave the pending actions down here at the bottom right, and then I'll push up Civil 3D so we can see both interfaces. I will then reopen the proposed roadway drawing, and when I do, let's watch the pending actions. Very quickly, almost too quick to be perceptible, the file was opened and a lock was applied. Even though that happened rather fast, let's talk for a second about what went on behind the scenes. When the file was opened, Desktop Connector compared the local version of the file to the version stored in the cloud. Since the local version and the cloud version were the same, the local version was opened and a lock was sent back to BIM 360. In the event a newer version of the file existed in the cloud, maybe another project member updated the drawing, in a case like that, Desktop Connector would have downloaded and opened the latest version to ensure I'm always working from the most current design. The same file lock would also have been applied. Now let's make a quick change to this file. For this example, I'm simply going to add some labels to the Willow Lane alignment. I'll do that by selecting the alignment, and from the contextual ribbon, I'll choose Add Edit Station Labels, and then I'll import a finished label set. I will then click the Save button to save the drawing, and when I do, watch the pending actions. Once again, after the file is saved locally, it shows up in the pending actions as it's synced to the cloud. Now, is the file still locked? Yes, because I haven't closed it yet. No one else can edit this file until I'm done with it. At this point, we'll assume I am finished working on this file. Since it's already in a saved state, I'm simply going to click the X to close it. When I do, watch the pending actions. Immediately after closing the file, we saw a flicker representing when Civil 3D removed the file lock. Now that we understand how the pending actions dialog box works, I'm going to minimize this on my system and I'll restore Civil 3D to full screen. So far in this session, I've shown you how to use your web browser and the Pending Actions dialog box to monitor the status of Civil 3D drawings stored in the cloud. 
That being said, you are not required to spend your day jumping in and out of dialog boxes to verify design files. I showed you these things to help you understand what's happening in the background when a Civil 3D project is hosted in the cloud. So long as you and your team are using Civil 3D 2020.2 or above, and the latest version of the desktop connector, all of your file locking and syncing will happen automatically, allowing you to spend your time working inside Civil 3D. In fact, the intent of Civil 3D Cloud Collaboration is for the workflows to be virtually the same as those traditionally used when working on a local server. As you're getting up to speed with Civil 3D Cloud Collaboration, you can use the web browser and Pending Actions dialog box to help you troubleshoot issues as they arise. Let's look at one more thing. Starting with the release of Civil 3D 2020.2, we have a new Start tab that includes some Cloud Collaboration features. I'm going to click to open the tab. On the left side, you'll find a pair of menus for opening or creating content. Selecting Recent will show a list of recently accessed files. Notice there's a BIM 360 option as well. Selecting this will display content specific to your cloud-based Civil 3D projects. Here at the top is a menu that can be used to select a BIM 360 project. I can pick one from the list or use the search box. I can also jump to another account if I wanted to. For this example, I'm going to use the search box to select the Route 25 Improvements project. When I do, I can see the directory structure for that project. I'll click to open Project Files and Drawings. Note that I can use the breadcrumb trail to see exactly where I am in the project or navigate to another folder. Here in the Drawings folder, I can see the proposed roadway file we worked on a couple minutes ago. To open the file, I'll click the hyperlink. Note that opening a file from the Start tab is the exact same as using the traditional Civil 3D Open menu. The Start tab simply represents a shortcut to the synced BIM 360 folders on your local machine. Think of it as just another tool you can use to navigate and access drawings. A really nice feature of the Start tab is that it will show the file locks for all opened files. In this example, I admit it's a bit anticlimactic because I only have one drawing. Just for a second, though, imagine if there were 20 drawings here. These lock icons would make it easy to identify all remote stakeholders working in the files. That said, whenever viewing file locks on the Start tab, please note that you may need to hit the Refresh button to display the latest lock status. For now, I'm going to click the tab to return to the proposed roadway drawing. If I hover, I can see that this drawing contains several alignments. I'd like to create some data shortcuts such that I can share these alignments with other stakeholders working on my Civil 3D Cloud project. I'll show you how we can do that in the next session. Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.